Well, National Gumbo Day is approaching. A timely reminder to celebrate the flavors and culture that go into creating great gumbo. Joining us is award-winning chef Madonna Broussard, who is teaming up with Louisiana Tourism to showcase what makes the state unique and special. Thank you for waking up with us. Thank you for having me, Maggie. So, chef, why celebrate gumbo? Louisiana gumbo. In Louisiana, we have deep culinary history of gumbo. You already know, when you uh, wake up and the temps are low, you make a gumbo here in Louisiana, starting off with a really good roux. That's the start. And there are different varieties of gumbo. Can you share those with us? Yes, there are two, three different varieties of gumbo. It's just your preference. Guess what? You got to start with chicken and sausage, of course, or you can start with real good Louisiana seafood paired in that gumbo, all of it with roux. Got to have that really, really good roux and your trinity, which is your onions, your bell peppers, parsley, everything to top it off, making a really good, rich gumbo. Mm, I feel like I can smell it from here. Now, can you explain to us the difference between Cajun and Creole cooking? Actually, I'm Creole, so I'll be able to tell you that one really well. Let's go with a good Creole gumbo, starting off with your roux, of course. Deep in flavor, rich in color, uh, your trinity, chicken and sausage and shrimp and andouille, all your smoked meats for your Cajun gumbo. You're gonna have all those things that I said in a Creole gumbo, because either way, they're both really good. You gotta have that. But you can add andouille sausage to that and that Cajun gumbo up really a good duck gumbo is to die for. So either way, both are extremely, extremely good. Now, do you have a personal favorite gumbo? Oh, honey, my <laughs> personal favorite one, chicken and sausage Come to it. All rich in color, deep, deep flavors. I like spices. So over here in Lafayette, Louisiana, we love it hot, you already know. So guess what? Pairing that off with some really good hot sauce in your gumbo as well. But I like potato salad in my gumbo. So either way, if you want it on the side or dip that in your bowl. Oh, yeah. Really, I've never, really good. I've never so had that, that is my pro tip for a gumbo. Oh, yum. And you actually have really deep good. ties. Are you a third generation restaurateur? I am. I'm a third generation restaurant owner here in Lafayette. Uh, my grandmother was Laura, Laura Broussard. We started off in 1968. My grandmother started making gumbo, of course. We started making really good rice and gravy. That is our love language here in Lafayette. So you can see me uh, and try my restaurant, uh, 1904 West University Avenue here in Lafayette, Louisiana. And where can we go for more information about all of this and these recipes? You can head on over to explorelouisiana.com or you can come see me here in Lafayette, Louisiana.